Hello everyone, IO Studios here for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add a portal effect in After Effects. So uh, it's going to be kind of about how to make you, let's say you're walking into a portal and you kind of disappear into that other dimension. Uh, so that's going to be today's tutorial. So first of all, uh, let's just go ahead and double click here, import all of our files. So we've got a just screenshot. Um, of a picture from the footage. I'll explain what this is first. I'll explain what this is later. Uh, our actual portal effect thing. I'll leave a download link to this in the description and the video clip. So let's just select all these and import. Now, uh, let's let's start by putting in our video clip here. <coughs> video clip? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Then we're going to need to go ahead and import portal thing. We'll put that above the video clip. That's just uh, a portal effect like so. Uh, let me actually turn down my sound. There we go. Okay, so you can see here, it's just a, kind of a little portal thing I created. Also, you can use this commercially, you can use this, you can modernize this. This, um, If you use this, you can use this portal effect for anything, really. Uh, I made it myself, so it's free to use, anyway. Now, uh, head right, either you can click down here on Mode and Add, or you can alternatively, if you don't have this option here, just right click on the actual thing head to blending mode and add. So either of these will work. <clears throat> anyway, now we have a uh, thing there. We have a portal. So first of all, let's, let's, so uh, I'm actually just gonna put this underneath here and we'll just analyze our footage real quickly. So uh, this footage is just of me walking up, uh, looking at an imaginary portal, putting my hand through imaginary portal, said imaginary portal, then walking through the imaginary portal. So we only need about this much video, so I'm just gonna actually trim the video clip down because we don't need anything past here. Uh, actually, don't need any more than that. Yeah, just like so, should be good. You can also just, anyway, now our video's trimmed down. That's just, you don't need to do that, but I'm gonna do that. Anyway, now, uh, let's put the portal on top of here again so we can see that. And then we need to make this portal look like it's actually in 3D space. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to expand here, transform, scale, and next to scale here, there's 100%, 100%, and then a little two lock things, constrained proportion things. Just uncheck that. And let's just decrease this size like this. So it looks kind of more oval and kind of like we're looking at it from the side. That looks like we're barely looking at it from the side, but uh, anyway. We're just going to kind of make it look like it's oval and we're looking at it from the side. Um, so let's actually skip forwards here. And put my hand forward. So there we go. Yeah, it look, looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and uh, scale. Let's go ahead and hit the little checkbox here again and scale it up. Whoa, that was a bit too much. But then let's just kind of, you know, move, move it around here, you know. Um, and we're just going to kind of position the portal properly, so that it sort of looks like we're putting our hand through the portal. Uh, actually, what we'll do, what we'll go ahead and do is, uh, yeah, well, let's just, that, look, that looks pretty good. Um, kind of looks like we're putting our hand through the portal. Anyway, that's reasonable enough. You can play with that as much as you want to, doesn't really matter, um, but I'm just going to make the portal a tiny bit smaller. Yeah, just like that. That should be pretty good. Then, uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and we're going to... Also, I recommend your camera stationary, uh, just so you don't need to do motion tracking for this. Uh, but anyway, that looks pretty good. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to have to actually add a layer mask so it looks like our hand is disappearing. So, uh, click on your... Um, actually, wait. First, grab your background image here. Now, this image, uh, just put this actually underneath here. Yeah, put it underneath there. Uh, the background image is literally just an image of um, the background. So I'm going to go ahead and move my uh, thing there. Actually, we might need to scale it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make the um, video clip not visible. And we're going to grab the background image. Now, the background image is just kind of a picture of the where the camera is, but without it's not moving, though, right? So kind of like, oops kind of like, you know, basically like with the entire thing, but without me in it. Uh, 
so we're going to need this. Um, you can get this various ways, but let's just look at the background image. Let's scale it appropriately. So I think about 33 is good. Maybe 33.5. You can play with this as much as you want to, but you want to get kind of a rough so that there isn't too much difference between them. It's pretty flawless. You can mess with this more, though, if you want to. Uh, just mess with the scaling. Anyway, now, <clears throat> this is... Uh, we're going to have to make it so uh, I kind of disappear when I touch the portal. So you want to go ahead and uh, make sure you have the video clip selected. Grab the rectangle tool up here. And then look at roughly the center of the portal here. And let's drag like so. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, that's pretty good. See, we have a mask here. Now let's 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 look at this. So I kind of walk up here. Uh, actually, let me just play this fully. I kind of look at the portal. Then I put my hand through it, and uh, this isn't going to look great at first, but I will make it look better. So. My hand just kind of disappears there. Two things we're going to do. First, we're going to kind of um, switch back to that. Let's kind of move the mask backwards a bit here. I don't know, so the hand maybe disappears a bit. Uh, there we go. But this is a bit of a rough transition, you know what I mean? It doesn't, eh, it doesn't look great. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the mask here, in the video clip, and mask feather. Uh, we're just going to increase this slightly. It'll look like my hand kind of fades out of existence. We'll do maybe 30 feathering. Looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, anyway, that looks pretty good. Then, uh, when we walk through, kind of put my hand through and it kind of, you know, disappears. Also, if you want to learn how to make this portal effect, uh, let me know in the comments and I will make a tutorial on how to make the portal from scratch. It leaves you with a he gives you a few more options, but anyway, I'll kind of walk through the portal. Right, there you go. Now you can tweak this really as much as you want to, but, uh, you know, the rest is left for you to tweak. It's, you just kind of walk through it. You can do anything you want to. The more feathering you add, the more you're going to kind of slowly fade. Um, but if you add less feathering... It's going to look like more of a harsh transition, so let's do maybe 10 feathering. Then I sort of, you know, not much feathering, but as we increase it. Anyway, you know, you just play with this really as much as you want to. It's totally up to you guys. I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. Um, if there's anything I missed or you think I should have done better, let me know in the comments as well below. Subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and um, yeah, just comment and... Tell me what you think. Also, as I said, once again, portal effect will be download. Download link will be in the description.